I am Isis, sharing from my heart to yours. I come to speak with you today with so much love and joy to share with you today. Creating peace on earth is not something that the spiritual realm is responsible for. It is the responsibility of those of you who are here now. While the spiritual realm can guide you, it is your ability to remove your focus from the emotional, mental and physical bodies and understand from a spiritual perspective that will create heaven on earth. You have this ability. It was what you came here to do. It's just so exciting to see that creation happen so quickly. But then again, it's also really stressful to see how quickly we can create mountains of unwanted events in our lives. It's kind of like this. You decide that you would like to experience or create something. You feel that glorious feeling of being the creator of your own existence. And suddenly a new door opens that wasn't even there before. You say to yourself, this isn't just some fantasy, it's real. I can do it. The space for your own creatorship is open and you're alive. You're learning to trust yourself. And this is no small feat to accomplish. As we've all relied upon only our own mental abilities, but also outside entities to do things for you. But with a little time and allowance, you'll find that you don't need to know the outcome because you trust yourself. You love yourself and are gentle with your flipping back and forth from one reality to the other. This time of confusion and stress and doubt will pass. And if you pay attention to observe the occurrences of what you're creating, what you desire, versus the times when you're not, clarity will arise out of the seeming chaos. With the clarity will come less duality-based events and more flow. Life is really becoming an adventure and the time to play and experience all the majesty of this existence is now. You must keep on keeping on. Acknowledgement that this is the way pure trust in the direction and opening to the perfect Eden of existence and happiness. There's a natural passion flowing from each of you as you settle into this amazing adventure. The process has begun, now living in this new energy. You have begun your ascension with a community based on the celebration of life and honor for our host, the Earth. But here is what is occurring now. All is in perfect and divine order. The old systems and realities of lower vibrating 3D world are crashing very rapidly now. They no longer exist in the new world as lower and higher vibrating energies cannot exist in the same space. This is why many of you are feeling a desire to retreat into your own personal sanctuaries. This is why lower vibrating energies cause you repulsion, even though 
you think you should love and embrace them. It is simply a matter of the evolutionary hierarchy of energies and dimensions. No judgment, simply the ways things work in the higher realms. Yes, we can still have love and compassion for the old, but just cannot stay in the space of the old for very long periods of time. So then, as much as recently risen to a new space and a newer and higher vibrating space at that, the old has nothing to hold on to, has nothing to guide, nurture and navigate it, and is then basically left abandoned to fend for itself. The old is then being invaded by whatever is still left behind. Whatever has not yet chosen to take its next ascension leap and it must reside somewhere. So it latches onto and moves into these abandoned spaces of old 3D manifestations. We are truly the masters here. All of you, you can own your power and most certainly be at the helm of your reality. If you can catch yourselves having thoughts and perceptions of the old 3D reality and immediately shift them into thoughts of miracles, peace, love, support, joy and much else, this will become your experience. Remember, the outside world does not dictate our experience. It is the world within us that dictates our experience and this concept is ever so supported in the higher realms. The higher you vibrate, the more you experience with great regularity and intensity these concepts that you have known for so long. You are currently in a Mercury retrograde period and soon to be experiencing the summer or winter solstice depending on where you are residing in the hemisphere. Solstices are the masculine and go to sleep and Mercury retrograde allows for any loose ends to be cleared up and completed. And in addition, we are also proceeding right on schedule in regard to our new roles and purposes. Stay in the magical energy and in alignment with your own specific purpose and anything and everything will arrive for you all by itself. You will be guided, supported and lifted into your space in the higher realms as we let go of much regarding old beliefs, perceptions, roles, victim consciousness and powerlessness thinking. You are then more perfectly poised for the gifts that the higher realms offer. You are thus in alignment with them. When you ignore, disregard and pay no attention to the lower vibrating things that may surround you, then they cease to exist. Hold on to your highest vision as the solstice energy arrives and get ready to ride the higher wave of reality. It is up to you. Are you ready? Now I have something to share with you from Remithan. 
It is a physical body activation using the blood. And this is what he says about it. As I focus on activating my physical body, I find my entire being growing explosively. I used to have a problem getting ungrounded, where my spiritual bodies had far more body, for, far, sorry, far more power than my physical, and thus were unable to fully merge. Consequently, I would feel spaced out and have trouble concentrating in the physical plane. Now that I do meditations that involve activation of the physical body organs, I find all the deeper powers growing, as well as my ability to concentrate and perform tasks in my physical life. I truly feel that we must shift from feeling that ascension is an upward motion, motion to realizing that our ascension as people in this dimension will only occur as we descend back into our bodies and fully activate them. I so, so agree. So at the end of today, I am going to share a guided meditation on how to activate them. Okay, so stay tuned so I can share this with you right at the end. So, awakening to the most natural of states is not an effort. All we need to do is to stop blocking our own innate connection with the divine. Your enlightenment is not a discipline. It is a flowering from inside out. Enlightenment is your natural state, regardless of your walk of life, background or belief. There is nothing you can do to make yourself enlightened. The only thing you can do is to get out of the way and allow the natural and unfolding of consciousness to occur. All we need to do is stop choosing for the down, downward spiraling habits of condemnation, judgment and limitation and begin to choose for the ascending and infinitely expanding waves of reality rooted in praise, gratitude and love. Enlightenment is a movement of grace from the divine of flowering from within and it is not the result of human effort. Believe it or not, erasing the habits of a lifetime is surprisingly simple. The natural tendency of your mind is to arrest in the perfect peace of your own true nature. All that is required is to let go, to release the literal death grip we have on our thoughts and feelings and floats free in the eternal bliss of the now. There is no trick to it. No certificates or awards are given and there is no one to whom this is more available than anyone else. So the only question remaining is what are you choosing for? How one-pointed can you be in your desire to be free? Once you realize that there is a purpose to your existence, how much longer will you compromise what your heart has been longing for throughout eons of time? Freedom is a choice. Away from the time to make that choice is now. Miracles await. Rosalie, yes, me, has her miracle. She has 
had her confirmation from the doctors today actually she is free from cancer three months today she believed with faith and trust all we are asking is the same faith and trust in you you are multi-dimensional beings which means you have arrived on new earth but also you can see your family on another dimension i think this has been a question some of you have had and even have held you back that you may not see your family again if you are on the new earth of course you can with all the stress of the latest energies we will see you through it all along with your heart the newer energies that have been bombarding you of late which have been for your benefit so strong please remember your higher consciousness you can do it that's fine so now we're going to do the meditation so please relax in your meditation position okay be ready now may we activate the blood flow of the whole human race so people rise up and take charge of their lives. Okay. This is the meditation. So concentrate on feeling your rectum organ by becoming your rectum. Notice how much power is in this organ as you continue to simply feel this organ. You are downloading the power of your soul from your brain into the rectum. This causes a rebirthing and a rebuilding of your body. Just take a moment to feel As you continue to feel and become your rectum organ, you will feel the rising sensation as your blood flow accelerates and you will feel your body becoming new. is the soul. Planet Earth contains all the soul codes for all of her inhabitants. She contains all the body codes to build all bodies that reside within her. The closest organ to the planet is the rectum. You will find as you focus in rectum that you can connect through the planet to the rest of the cosmos, obtaining cosmic vision and cosmic consciousness through the atomic matrix, the blood matrix. The atomic matrix unites all of life for we all share the same common base unit, the atom. Through the rectum, we can connect to the rest of the cosmos very naturally and remain grounded. We can also stay connected indefinitely for our body itself is always within the cosmos within the atomic matrix.
as you reactivate your blood flow by reactivating your rectum, you will find your brain regrowing and reactivating. You will find every organ in your body rebuilding since the blood builds the whole body. May we all reactivate our blood flow so we can flood the world with the power of our physical bodies. May we relight the planet by reactivating the blood flow of all people inside of her, starting with our own blood. I personally, this is Rosalie, found this very powerful. I hope you have too. So I am Isis, wishing you all many, many blessings and love. And I am always at your service. Namaste. And I am Rosalie, thanking you so much for being here today. And I hope you've enjoyed today as well. And I send you so much love. Namaste.